This right here is the Combined Powers Premium Collection Box, which features a Jumbo Lugia EX, the regular size Lugia EX, a Suicune EX, and a Ho-Oh EX. All of these, I think, are featured in the classic collection boxes that came out a little while ago. This box is actually very interesting. For its small size, it's packing a massive punch, if you can see what I mean right there. I mean, just look at the size difference between these two boxes. This one right here has 11 packs in it. This one right here has four packs in it. It makes absolutely no sense. Look at this little sad boy right here. But we are gonna be taking a look at both of these because they did just come in on pre-order. I don't know why I didn't realize that these were coming out after the release of Paldean Fates, but we finally have our Paldean Fates six pack booster bundle. So we're gonna open up one of these as well. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Pokey Fang and welcome to the Fang Gang. Boom, the Mabostiff EX box. It's not premium collection or anything like that. It's kind of silly. It's literally just box. The easiest way to open these boxes is like this because sometimes the glue on the sides is just way, way, way too strong. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open here. Get our promo cards out of the back. Let's do this one at a time. Boom. We have our Mabostiff EX Black Star promo. So we do get Black Star promos in these boxes. For a while there, we were getting some boxes that had regular cards that were not Black Star promos. They just maybe had something like this going on. So we do get one Cosmos Hollow pattern uh, of a regular common card. So normally we would only get hollows for rares, but we do get these for promo cards recently. So it's not a Black Star promo, but it is a Cosmos Hollow. So if you're looking up the value of these, make sure you do include that it is a Cosmos Hollow to get the exact price for that card and not just the common or uncommon. Code cards are going out to the fan gang all throughout the video. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of this plastic here. We have our jumbo card. Uh, I do like that you get to really see that pattern there show through on these jumbo cards. I do like the, the textured jumbo cards are actually my favorite because there's just so much detail that you get to see it up close and personal, but still really nice, proud fangs, repping the fang gang, of course. I don't know if this is the same size as the Vs and V Maxes that we were getting recently. So I don't know if they're gonna fit in those celebration binders or not. I'll have to check in on that later, but let's get the rest of this plastic out of the way. Four packs, four packs, but luckily we have 11 packs in the Combined Powers, almost called a Lugia Premium Collection, but the Combined Powers Premium Collection, which has a ton more stuff in here than you can actually see. Somehow they fit 11 packs in this little box, and there's tons more promos behind the actual three that you can see. And of course, we're gonna be ending today's video out with these Paldean Fates. Code cards are going out to the fan gang all throughout the video, as always, so stick around if you're here for those code cards. But this Mabostiff EX box has a Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames, another Paradox Rift, and a Scarlet and Violet base. Not bad. All of these sets have special illustration rares, which makes it way more fun to open these than some of the early Sword and Shield packs that we were getting in a lot of these uh, lower end sort of like EX, and at the time, I guess they would have just been V boxes. Uh, code card going out to the Fang Gang. I'll try to move out of the way for those. I was blocking them a little bit in the last video, but let's go ahead and guess with, uh, start off with Psychic. I like to start off with Psychic sometimes. Punchy's energy, if you know, you know. All right, here we go, guys. If I was in the middle of saying something, I don't remember what it was. ADD is for real. Shuppet, Tandem House, Smoliv, Primeape. Let's get head right through this pack. I'm really looking forward to that combined powers box that looks super spicy. Tropius Reverse is not, is actually a, a common in this set. Wiglet, Cool Trainer Ryan's favorite. And a Quackleval, uh, regular Quackleval Hollow. Hollow Rare. So nothing in that one. I'm trying to remember what hits were in Sword and Shield base, guys. Let me know in the comments if you can remember. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. I feel like these sets are coming out so fast now, it's like practically impossible to remember what's in what sets. Uh, let's go with Metal Energy. All right, Electric Energy. And uh, no pack trick. what am I doing here? All right, sorry, I was opening Crown Zenith recently. Brawler, Clefairy, Capsicid, Town Store. Ninetales, Poltegeist, Toad Scroll, Darmanitan, Herdier Reverse, and a Toxtricity. Also, cool trainer Ryan. Two more packs here. Paradox Rift, one of my favorite sets from the Scarlet and Violet era. Code card going out. I, honestly, Paradox Rift and Palde Evolved, it's like, it's really tied. I think those are my two favorites from Scarlet and Violet if you're not including 
151. Obviously, 151 stands alone. It is technically a Scarlet and Violet set. Uh, let's go with Metal Energy again. Oh, grass Energy, interesting. We're not getting any of my favorites. Pumpkaboo, Zubats, Natu, Purloin, Luxurious Cape, Ambipom, Snorlax, Doll, Swablu Reverse. Let's get something here. Minin, which I actually just caught in the, uh, what is it, the Indigo Disc expansion yesterday. I got Minin and Plusle and an Aegislash. So far, man, if that box was 20 bucks, that is a wash out right there. Not, not the best. I will say that those regular V boxes or EX boxes, typically, you know, obviously you can get great pulls out of them, but they take up so much space for just for four packs. I'd rather just get blisters or something like that. Uh, code card going out to the fan gang. What do we have here? It's gonna be darkness. Oh, there's our metal. There's our metal energy that we were looking for. All right, hopefully we get some last pack magic here out of this box. Dwebble, Horsey, Joltik, Loudrid, Tatsugiri, Vanillax, Defiance Vest, Nackley. I think I see something, I see something. Guys, can you see that? Hold on, get out of the way here. Can you see? That looks like gold. Is that gold or is that just regular hollow edge? I can't tell. I'm not looking at the card, I'm looking at just the camera. Oh man, I really hope it's just a, I hope it's not just a hollow. Let's see what we got here, guys. Knackley, ooh, luxurious cape, gold. All right, not the best gold pull, but it is a gold pull regardless. I don't know if this is playable. I haven't really seen anybody talk about luxurious cape. But the golds in this set really are luxurious, all right. I'd like it more if it was purple, but I'll take it. And uh, I actually don't think I have sleeves here, but hold on a second. What a noob mistake. I'm surprised I didn't notice that with the promos. I usually sleeve up the promos. It's our first hit of today's video, which is kind of crazy, considering the pull rates of Scarlet and Violet are usually pretty incredible. But now we're moving into the sort of the main events. I mean, I guess we're gonna end it out with Paldean Fates with maybe that's more exciting for some folks. But uh, this box has been very interesting to me for a while now, since I first heard about it. Hold on a second here. And they do not make it easy to open these boxes at all, which I guess is a good thing if you're worried about shoplifting. But yeah, it's weird. A lot of these cards are featured in the classic collection box, which was $400. So it's kind of wild to think that they would actually put some of the cards from that box in something else. But I mean, I guess if you didn't want to spend the money on that box and you still wanted these cards, this is this is for you. This is a win for everybody who didn't buy that box and still wanted some of these cards. So here's our Ho-Oh EX. Gorgeous. Look at that sparkle. Scorching charcoal. Obviously these are not playable uh, in the meta at all. These are literally just for collecting or I guess playing the classic collection. You did get the full set and a sun seed. Man, that hollow is incredible. Like I wish our hollows could look this good all the time. So like low key, this box comes with 11 packs, which I still have yet to see how they actually fit them in here. And it's got all of these really nice holes just, just given to you, just like that. And I can't remember how much I paid for this box. I want to say it was only like 40 bucks for 11 packs. I mean, that's better. That's better than an ETB and you get all these guaranteed pulls. So we got Suicune EX. I already see something I'm going to like. Suicune EX right there. These are regular EXs, but these are beautiful. Drops in the ocean. Look at the way that blue just pops right there when the light hits it. Like they can add color over the hollow foil so that it does that. It just looks so, so good. And then we have the adorable little Mr. Mime. And I can't remember where this card is from. I, my brain is telling me it's from like vending series, which is kind of crazy to see a card like this get like showcased in like the mainline TCG as a, uh, you know, like a card. I guess it's still not playable in tournaments, like I said. All right, then we have, of course, our Jumbo Lugia EX. Another EX like Armin Ballstiff that uh, I'm curious if these are gonna fit in the binder. If they have the old EX sizing or the new sizing that the, all of the V's and V Maxes had. Now look at this, look how crazy this is. See it from the side? 
Look at how many packs they were able to fit inside of this thing. One, two, three, four, uh, four Paradox Rift, four Obsidian Flames, and three Scarlet and Violet base. Very, very interesting lineup. So we are done seeing Sword and Shield packs, it looks like, in the more recent uh, boxes. Let's go with uh, Psychic Energy. Punchies again. <sighs> Didn't we start off with Punchies in the last one? All right, Zangoose, Krogunk, Dedene, Curlia, Kilowattrol, Greedent, Crocodile, just chilling, chilling over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Why am I so zoomed out? Let's get a good close look at these cards, right? Crocodile, Team Star Grunt, Reverse, our boy Mastiff. The crunch move though, it's not the same Mastiff as this one. That Sharp Fang and Smash Kick and Professor Turo, who I don't know personally because I played Scarlet. So I'm a big fan of Professor Sada. Sada is my favorite. All right, code card going out to the fan gang. I don't know why I wasn't zoomed in earlier. I must have done something when the camera was off. All right, let's go with Psychic Energy finally because we haven't pulled it at all yet. We got the Zap deck, Psychic and Electric. All right, Houndo Houndor, I don't know why I almost said Houndoom. Magikarp, Magnemite, Scovillain, Winkalone. I want to show you guys something in a little bit when we get into Paldean Fates. I think you're going to really like Slowpoke Reverse. Squovid. So there we go. We got an illustration rare of the Squovid. Chillin'. What is that? Like a giant? Wait, I'm so confused. That looks like a giant acorn that it's sleeping on. You guys see that? Maybe it's just a pillow. But it looks like a giant acorn, which makes me think everything else in the room is miniature or that acorn is just way too big. I don't know. And a Coridon EX double banger pack. Not bad, I'll take it. I will take it. Last pack of Scarlet and Violet base. Wait, did I open an Obsidian Flames? I opened an Obsidian Flames, didn't I? I don't remember. No, I don't think I did. I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind here, guys. I'm as old as Ash Ketchum should be. All right, here we go. Do the math on that. Code card going out to the Fang Gang. Psychic Energy, finally. Fuego. That's uh, Miss Poke Fang's favorite energy type right there. Fuego, Fuego. Switch. Fuecoco. Interesting. Tropius. Poke Ball. Flamigo. Fortress. Rocky Helmet. Squawkabilly. Who, uh, the EX version, I think, gets a lot of play, if I remember correctly. Or at least it did. Floet Reverse and a Skeledurge. Now we are into Obsidian Flames territory. Zard territory, if you will, okay? I have pulled the Charizard from this set three separate times. I've also pulled the Iono from Palzean Fates three separate times, pretty wild. Um, Psychic Energy, yes. Are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it. Had to, just gotta do it. How rarely it happens these days, we gotta do it, all right? Gotta do that thug life for guessing, predicting the energy on the psychic. Stunfisk, Salazzle, see a little something here. Could just be the hollow edge though. Togepi, Lechonk, illustration rare. Just ate too much, he's just food wasted, passed out in the sun, and a clay doll. I think that's actually the edge that I was seeing. I have been opening a lot of Japanese, you guys need to know. Blah, blah, blah. You guys need to let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Japanese get opened up here on the channel. I've been having a blast doing it, and I've also been learning Japanese. Not enough to read the cards or anything yet. It's such a complicated language, uh, but I have started to learn it. And hopefully, within the next year or two, I'll be able to read the cards. Uh, it's a huge goal of mine moving forward. So let me know if you want to see more Japanese uh, on the channel. There we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. Darkness energy this time. I feel like for as often as I pull the darkness energy, or I predict the darkness energy, we get lightning it's just so often. All right, we got the hanger gang. We got Shuckle, Bisharp. We got cards flying all over the place. Magneton, Espeon, lots of cute little Espeon. We got Sharpedo, Lanoon, Larvesta, Malamar Reverse, 
Oh, very nice. We got the Mountain Dew Tyranitar EX giant light bulb on his head. Like he's just got like the best idea right now. Obsidian Flames, we're still going. Was there three Obsidian Flames or, or, or four? I can't remember. My brain is just mush these days. All right, what are we gonna do with this one? Water? We haven't seen water in a while. Punchies again. Punchies, Squovit, stuff in his little face. Palpitoad. I don't know how I feel about this artwork. It's a little weird. I know that that's what he does, but I don't know. Something about that tongue. It's reminding me of like those worms where like you poke them and then just like stuff, stuff. You know what I mean? I don't like it. it freaks me out. Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt's interesting because I can't tell if that's its face. Like those are his eyes or if those are the eyes. I literally can't tell. I'm gonna have to wait until the show comes out, which honestly, by the time this airs, the show might be out. Horizons might be out, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. Bisharp, reverse. Glimit, reverse. And a Toxtricity Cool Chain of Ryan cosplay. Moving in to Paradox Rift after this. Wow, just punched my microphone. Um, what are we on here? We are on Obsidian Flames. This is our last Obsidian Flames of this box code card going out to the fan gang. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments if you are able to redeem those, what kind of cool stuff you get from them, if you get anything cool. Uh, let's go with, we still need water energy. Fire, okay, fine. We can make steam with that. Spoink, Tynamo, Surfskit, Darumuka, Kangaskhan, Whiskash, Floatzel, Scyther Reverse, Pidgey Reverse, Oh, and a vest between EX. Regular EX is just, they just don't hit. They're not hitting. It's not even that they're not hitting the same, they're just not hitting at all. They're just so flat. All right, here we go. We have our code card. Go back to the fan guy. It's gotta be water eventually, right? Grass, touch grass. Get in touch with reality. It's not gonna be water type. Just let it go, Fang. Charcadet, Gorgeist, Vanillix, Tatsugiri, Knackle Stack, Octillery, Reverse. Evil Tail. Just an Evil Tail Hollow. Wow, these are like coming apart for some reason. These Paradox Rift packs are like really thin compared to the other, other sets that we've opened. Kind of strange. Uh, of course, it's gonna be water now that I'm almost not gonna guess it. I almost didn't guess it. I almost didn't guess it. And I knew that if I didn't, then it would change because we live in a simulation. It's true. See how I did that? Sometimes you gotta trick the simulation. You'd be like, I don't want a million dollars. And then see what happens. Wimpod, Elekid, Tinkatuff, Trubbish, Medical Energy, Iron Bundle, Blizzcore, I'm not a fan of the future Pokemon with their, the fact that their names all just start with iron. I just feel like that's a cop out. They could have had really cool names. Blodic, Reverse, Knackly Reverse, which I think we also just pulled a minute ago. Oh, and a Full Arts, or I guess just an Ultra Rare. I, I always mix these up, the Full Arts and the Ultra Rares. Double Rares? No, Double Rares are the regular ones. Now these are Ultra Rares, okay. Regular EXs are Double Rares. Ultra Rares are Full Arts, okay. They did something crazy with the colors to get them super, super bright and saturated in Scarlet and Violet. And I love that. I love the way the artwork just pops on these sets. All right, here we go. We're so spoiled, guys. These are the first half of Scarlet and Violet, and we've already got basically the equivalent of um, trainer galleries and Galarian galleries and special illustration rares, or sorry, not special illustration rares. We do have those. <laughs> the equivalent of alternate arts and things like that we actually have already in the first half of Scarlet and Violet. What are they going to do in the second half? Megas? Mega EXs? Are those coming back? Time will tell. Can't remember if I did the, the energy, so maybe this might be the hit right here. Uh, let's go with fire, finally. No darkness, finally. Should have said that. I don't know why I said fire, honestly. We've gotten fire a couple times. Flittle, Nickets, 
Future Boost Energy Capsule. It's a mouthful. Almost didn't even fit that on the card, guys. What are you thinking? Dub Blade, Sharkadet, and a Deoxys. I don't remember seeing that. Genuinely. I'm sure I have it in my binder, but I don't remember seeing that one. Last pack of the combined combined powers. Premium Collection Box. I had to check to see what it was called. I keep wanting to call it Lugia Premium Collection. All right. Darkness again. Because we like never get the same energy twice. There's a fire. I had them backwards. I had them backwards. Swablu. Panseer. I actually took two cards. I was Panseer, Panseer and Wiglet. Gligar. Defiant Vest. Veluza. What a Veluza. Technical Machine Turbo Energies. Little Trash Boy. I'm the Trash Man. Absol. Love this artwork. Love this artwork. This is it Kanda? Shinji Kanda? Is that the artist's name? I love this one. It's so cool. Oh, and we get the Skeledurge Terraform EX with that beautiful texture. I love how it's like, because it's metal, it's got all the silver on silver kind of going on. All right, guys. So before we open up the Paldean Fates six pack booster bundle to end out the video, I do want to, I didn't mention earlier, I wanted to share something with you. I'm going to switch cameras here real quick and just put yourself in this headspace. You have a box of Shiny Treasure EX, the Japanese version of Paldean Fates. And you're like, I should make a video about this. Or maybe I'll just sit on my couch and I'll just open it by myself for fun. Well, this is the reason why you never open up packs if you're a content creator off camera. Because of course in that box, we pulled the Charizard. Not just any Charizard, the Charizard chase card. This is the dark type terraform special illustration rare Charizard EX. The one I've been joking about in my intros for the longest time now, and uh, I pulled it. Absolutely pulled it uh, off camera. I did whip my camera out to get some quick pictures and videos of my setup where I was just kind of camped out on my couch when I pulled this. Wow. That's going in a Voltex, semi-rigid, my favorite, right there. Safe and sound. All right. So all that, just to let you guys know that it is possible to pull this card. That is what it looks like, but we still are chasing it in English. I have not been able to pull it in English and I have opened so much more Paldean Fates than I have opened Shiny Treasures EX. Shiny Treasure EX, I think it's just singular. Uh, but I keep messing that up. So anyway, six packs, here we go. Can we do it? Can we summon it by having its Japanese counterpart right here watching along with us? You think we will attract the English one by doing that? Let me know in the comments if you think it's gonna work. Okay, code card going out to the fan gang, obviously, for that new Shining Fates, new new in the new Pokemon uh, live app. Which, by the way, Pokemon Pocket is going to be coming out. I don't know if it's this year or next year, but that looks wild. It definitely looks like it's going to disrupt a lot of things. I don't know if it's going to be the physical TCG or just the online version, but it looks like it's going to be wild. All right, here we go. We're going to go with Dark Type Energy. Thought maybe we'd get the same energy as our Zard, but I guess not. Oh, there's our boy Ghastly setting that aside. Actually, I'm just going to set that guy aside. Ralts. Doxbun, Camerupt, Scrafty. Ooh, there we go, Flamigo. Now we're gonna get into some juicy, juicy pull rates with Paldean Fates. Execute, and a Zatu regular hollow. Oh, we got the Flamigo, Shiny, which I guess is like the Shiny variant. It's just like more, like a lighter pink and maybe a little purplish kind of color, like magenta going on in there instead of just like red. Sometimes the shiny patterns on these or the colorways are just so subtle that you can barely even tell. Those new um, code card going out, bang gang. Those new boxes, the uh, Paldean Fates like starter boxes that came out recently. Those are beautiful boxes, by the way. Um, can't wait to open those in a future video if it hasn't dropped already. I am gonna be opening them. I have them right over here. Um, 
but those shinies are so hard to tell. Like the Fue Coco, the Crocolore, Skeledurge. It's just basically like a lighter red, like a pink. Fire energy, hopefully you guessed that at home. I hope you guys do guess along at home. I don't wanna just be over here guessing these energies by myself. Try to pick something different for me too. That would be, be even more fun. You guys get it right, I get it wrong. How fun is that? Curlia, Nest Ball Reverse. Mankey Reverse. Drifting off camera because I'm not paying attention. And a Paldean Claude Sire, which honestly, maybe not in this artwork, but in like 90% of the time when I see this Pokemon, it looks like a Ditto. Like it has the exact same face as a Ditto. Come on. We'll take it though. Paldean Claude Sire. Baby Shinies are really like where it's at with this set if it's not like the Zard itself. And there's 100, 120, maybe more, Baby Shinies and Paldean Fates, and they're so hard, so hard to get all of them. Darkness Energy. Oh, there's our Psychic. We didn't get it. We didn't get it, so we don't get to pop the collar next time. Popping our Dracula collar over here. Swoobat, Artisan, Curlia, Boom, just like that. I didn't even realize we were at a point in this pack where we could pull something. We got a Glamora EX, uh, Full Arts, Flittle, and a Mag Mortar. Three more packs, guys. Make sure to smash that luck button. Looks like this. Down below, leave a comment. Say what's up. Let me know if you pulled anything good recently. Let me know what your thoughts are on these boxes. Uh, you'll notice on my videos, I reply to comments. As long as your as long as your comment isn't like something ridiculous, if you actually want to talk, let's talk. You know what I mean? Say something down in the comments, and I'm happy to uh, join in on the conversation. Let's go with back to back psychic. Oh, man. Washed out, Fampy, Lapras, Toad School. There we go, Gengar, right there. Technical Machine, Crisis Punch, Doxpun, Lapras, again. Did we already have a Lapras? Mabostiff Reverse, our boy. And a Mimikyu. Two packs left. Coming down to the wire here. So fun opening up all this stuff, guys. I honestly have been so busy lately. I haven't really been able to open too much stuff. Uh, code card going out to the Fan Gang. I think I might have missed one back there. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I haven't been able to open a ton of stuff off of camera for myself. So when I do these videos, it really is just to, you know, open up packs, like just for fun. Dark type. Metal. Should have called that one. Um, I used to open up a ton of stuff off camera and then I would save some stuff to open up on camera. But now I save everything open up on camera unless I make a mistake like that. Uh, which case I regret it and then I go back to not opening anything off camera again ever because I'll forever regret that Atticus Swoobat oh let's go special illustration rare Arvin very nice and a Professor Sada my favorite wow look at that Arvin special illustration rare knocking over all the sandwich condiments we got Gramps down there a little ball stiff. I love how the Pokeballs are actually in the exact same spot on these Special Illustration Rare supporters in this set. Each one of them is in the exact same spot. It's very interesting. And I think one of them is inverted. So it's like upside down, right side up, upside down. Super, super cool. One pack left, almost last pack magic. Almost, but not quite. Cause now we're about to pull the Zard, baby. We're about to pull the Zard. Code card going out to the fan gang. We've got Psychic Energy. Oh, darkness. Pretty close. Pretty close. And for those of you who don't know, if you've never won one of my, one of my giveaways, I do include autographed cards in all of my giveaways. So even if you don't want what's being given away in one of my videos, if you want an auto, that's the way to do it. All right, Varum, Frigibax, Nimona's Backpack, Primate, Artisan, Tandem Mouse Reverse. Here we go, guys. Curlia, and a Houndstone Hollow. 
All right, guys, this is gonna be my favorite pull in today's video, the Arvin Special Illustration Rare. Thanks so much for sticking around and opening up packs with me. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting, fan gang. Peace.